Hey folks, we're back with another Service Tech Tip video. Joe Welch is here, and today we're going over dewinterization. This is gonna be the first in a series of dewinterization videos, so put in the comments below which type of RV you'd like to see dewinterize next. This process is gonna be very easy, and in a couple of minutes, we'll have the RV ready for its next adventure. So are you ready? Let's get started. It's officially spring, temperatures are now reaching safe levels, and you're ready to dust off the camper and get out there. So come with me as we dewinterize this 2023 Winnebago Rebel, available here at Colonial. Dewinterization is done by removing all the antifreeze from our water lines. So the first thing we're gonna do is get some water hooked up to our unit. Whether you have a fresh tank or a B&B Nautilus on your Rebel like this, we're just gonna hook our hose line to the city water, and then we're gonna check our positions of our valves here. So we're actually gonna run on normal city water, so we want the white down. We actually have a picture to follow here. Blue to the right, red straight up, and green to the left. So this is normal city water operation. We just gotta turn on our hose here, and now meet me at the sink. All right, now that we're pressurized with the hose, we're gonna go ahead and open the cold side until that pink turns to clear. And then we're gonna do the same exact thing over on the hot side, run out the antifreeze until we just have clear water coming through. And then we're also going to, on the Rebel, run our sink drain here, cause she's nice and hungry. We're gonna get the antifreeze out of the way. Go ahead and fill that up with water. And this way we can just run the antifreeze out of our sink drain there and make sure that we're good on both sides of our sink. Now we're gonna make our way over to the commode. We're just gonna get behind our folding door here. And the first thing we're gonna grab is our shower and we're gonna work out the hot and the cold lines here. So we're just running that until we run the pink out and it's coming out nice and clear. Then we're gonna do the same on the hot side of the shower. Get that to come out clear as well. And then you don't wanna forget that despite this being a cassette toilet with its own dedicated tank, we're still feeding water through it. So we wanna use the electric flush, make sure the antifreeze comes out and it comes out clear. And then we're just gonna empty out our tank and make sure that no antifreeze is left in our commode. So the last place inside the coach that we actually need to run antifreeze out of is gonna be our outdoor shower port right here in the rear. So just using our quick connect to hook up our garden hose, and then we're gonna open our hot side. We're gonna run our antifreeze out till she turns clear. And then I'm gonna switch over to my cold side, do the same thing. And once we have that fresh clean water through our hose, we can shut off our port and disconnect our hose. The last place that antifreeze is gonna be hiding on our Rebel is in our low point drains. So we don't need to drain our fresh, we're just gonna to need to open our cold till it runs clear underneath and our hot as well. Once that is done, we can be confident that we've run all the antifreeze out of our unit and we're left with just fresh water. Now what you probably would like to do is fill up your fresh tank, maybe even sanitize that fresh tank, and then run that water through all your lines. Congratulations, you've done it. You've successfully dewinterized your Rebel or other RV camper van, and now you're ready to hit the road. Remember, if you get stuck, don't hesitate to call us here at Colonial. One of our technicians will be happy to help you and give you some troubleshooting guides or get you in for a quick service appointment. Before we end this video, we'd really appreciate everyone hitting that like button and subscribing if they haven't already for more RV content. Shoot over to our TikTok at Colonial Airstream and RV and give us a follow and help that grow if you'd like. And if you found this video helpful or you have any questions, please leave us a comment below or reach out to us at colonialairstream.com. My name is Joe Welches and I can't wait to see you all again in a Colonial Service Tech Tip video.